Any questions anyone has? I say. Yes. Said, uh, saying, I believe from Hajjat Junaid Baghdadi that even the ego isn't aware of our sincerity. And I was asking if you can explain that, what that means. The ego that is not what? Uh, Say? Saying that sincerity is something that even shaitan and the ego cannot perceive to interfere with, that the angels, they don't know how to write it down? No, that's different from your question. No. Sincerity is something that what? Even the who? Shaitan and the ego. They cannot perceive, they cannot see, they cannot witness, they cannot understand. And? Even the recording angels, they don't know how to write. What does that mean? Sincerity is what? Sincerity is a secret between you and your Lord that nobody else shares. Nothing is closer to you, really, than your ego. No? Even the ego is not understanding what that sincerity is. What is that sincerity? And the angels don't know how to uh, process that. It is between you and your Lord. It is uh, just like fasting. Fasting. Fasting is such a great ibadat that Holy Prophet is saying, not even Allah is revealing to me what are the rewards of fasting. It is so great. But fasting is one of those ibadats that only you and your Lord knows. Nobody else knows. You can fool everyone. But you cannot fool yourself, you cannot fool your Lord with that. You cannot. Maybe praying you can. You understand? Praying you can. You're saying, I made, I made going up and down, I recite everything. Yeah, I set the intention. Da, da, da. My heart is flying everywhere else, it doesn't matter, I did that. And people can say, yeah, I saw him doing it five times a day. But fasting, Who is going to see except your Lord if you break your fast? Hmm. And it's one of those ibadats that is you can easily cheat, you can easily break it by yourself. Nobody needs to know. It's not like you drink water and then it's going to be put here, I drank some water. Now of course, on those ones who are doing that, Allah may see some signs. But it is between you and your Lord. That sincerity, it is a secret between you and your Lord. Something, a secret relationship between you and your Lord. What are we trying to learn here? We're trying to learn what are the things that makes us to be insincere. We're not learning sincerity like that. We're learning what makes us to be insincere. You understand? Because a man may think he's very sincere. No, no, I'm very sincere. But according to whose level? Because your sincerity again is to Allah. You can, you're not sincere to anyone else. So we're here to learn what are the things that prevent us from being sincere. Hmm. What is that sincerity? What is that sincerity? Ihsan. Ikhlas and ihsan. To worship Allah. knowing that He sees you. To worship Allah as if you are seeing Him. If you are not seeing Him, to know that He's seeing you. To have that <coughs> taqwa, to have that huzur, to have that presence, to have that 
Zikir. To know who are you doing it for. And what that one wants from you. Not for anything else. Not for no one else. Not for anything else. Not for anyone else to see. Only for him. We are here with our shaykh. And especially in the Nakshabendi way, they are concentrating on removing the veils. They're not concentrating on the spirit. They're concentrating on the things that is blocking the spirit from returning. What is making us to be sincere? Some people, <coughs> for example, they say, we're saying, you did something wrong there. I say, yes, uh, I know I did something wrong and I'm sorry. But you shouldn't uh, be doing this. Meaning that one is knowing that something wrong, just like our brother Bayram. You admit you're doing something wrong? Yes, but how do I get out of this? How do I escape from this? Is that to him? He says, Yes, I'm being sincere. I admit I'm doing something wrong. I admit in doing something wrong. But how do I get out of this? So that level of sincerity, it is knowing that you are in trouble and you want to get out of that trouble. That is that level of sincerity. But it is not the level where you know you did something wrong. And you made Allah not to be happy with you. That relationship there, by that time it is broken. And the sadness must reach to you. It is not for fear that Allah is going to... It is there. But understanding that now you put a sat between you and Allah. Now another thing is preventing you from being close to your Lord now. And that should make the person to be more sad. The difference, say, between Hazrat Adam salam, and Hazrat Hawa. Both did what they did. Both are very feeling very sorry. Hazrat Hawa was sorry because she separated from Hazrat Adam salam. Hazrat Adam salam, is sorry not because he separated from Hazrat Hawa. He is sorry because he separated from Allah. You understand? Now which level of sincerity we're looking at? Hmm. We're following those ones who are sincere. They are showing us the way. Step by step, we must know, okay. Uh, these words, these actions, it doesn't fit into the intention. We make the intention, but the words and the actions, it doesn't fit 100%. We must make it to fit more. We must make it to fit more. We must make it to fit more. And that time you're going to discover there are so many levels of that sincerity also. Uh, then you're going to discover, oh, last year I was saying this. I was just playing a game. Now I really understand what it is. We are saying, you, you think there is a the same level of sincerity between the man who is who did some commit something wrong <coughs> and he's saying forgive me ya rabbi and nothing is going to happen to him and the one who commits something wrong and seeing the fire in front of him and saying forgive me ya rabbi do you think it is the same no it's not the same and the man who is doing something wrong and understanding now that his Lord is separated from him. Because to be separate from your Lord, it is non-existence. No? Because everything that Allah has created, it has existence. And to be separated, to be other than separated from Allah, it is non-existence. You think it's going to be the same? Which is why shaitan is saying, Put me into the hell, but don't put me into non-existence. Don't separate me from him. Even shaitan is knowing. 
You understand? Slowly, inshallah, step by step. We're asking for more sincerity, inshallah. Step by step for us to be able to uh, be with those ones who are sincere and to be uh, under their feet uh, so that even if we're not getting anywhere in this world, we're not understanding too many things, but our love for them, it is enough for us to be with them. Wa Allahu tafiq al fatiha Nothing. Assalamu alaikum. No. Anything else anyone say? If not, call us on. We pray, Shah, inshallah. Uh, no time for dessert right now. Later. Fatiha. Nothing.